Hello everyone, welcome to Video Gaming Over 40. I'm your host, VGO, and today I wanted to take a quick look at Lord of the Rings Shadow of Mordor. If you never played this game, I would suggest you give it a try now. It's been out for a few years, I know you're like, VGO, this has been out for like three years. Well, it has. But if you like Assassin's Creed, and you like Dynasty Warriors, and you might have been on the fence about this game, I suggest you give it a try. It gives you all the same joy of the sneaking, the leveling up, the character creation, the customization, But it also allows you to be quite effective in combat. I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings universe. I like the books. I even like the movies. And if you read the books, you know that... Um, wow, I am stunned. If you read the books, you know that a lot of what the movies put in were kind of like ad-libbed. They... Um, they expanded on stuff, they showed other things that wasn't written down, battles that you only heard about in like a sentence or two turned out to be major cinematic events. And that's how I feel about this game. This game is set completely off the timeline of, of the Lord of the Rings books and the Lord of the Rings movies, but it is plausible that you might be a human that gets possessed by a wraith of the High Elf that ended up making the One Ring to rule them all. The storyline's cool. The gameplay is brutal. As you can see. The customization op options are many. Oh, get off that guy. Oh! Did you see that? Did you see that? Anyway. A quick note on the Lord of the Rings, the reason why I like it so much, is Tolkien didn't develop the fantasy genre. It was around before him. But he definitely refined it. He definitely um, brought it to life. It had good morality, it had good enemies, it had good versus evil, and it was quite fun. This is a little bit more gray. A lot of the stuff that this ranger does is uh, for revenge and for, you know, honor and to help the worlds of men and elves, but he's also... He also, you know, blurs the line. You know, um, Strider was going to be Strider. He wasn't going to be somebody who, you know, would do something evil or morally ambiguous in order to get the 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 ring destroyed. So you found. Do you think you've got what it takes to finish the job? I think we do. I think we do. Ooh. Come here. Nope. None of that for you, buddy.
No! Oh. Can you do something about this guy instead of just looking at him? Don't retreat. Don't run away. We need to do this. We need to finish this guy. Nope, 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 nope. There you, you go. You can't bury me, man swine. I've still got a few tricks. Tricky escape? Cheeky orc. Okay, now, quick word on price. I was able to pick up the entire um, game with expansions for $19.99. Brand new. I saw it used on Amazon for $14.99 and for $12.99 with all the expansions attached. There is constantly updates by... Warner Brothers on the game. They have not given up on it, even though it's a few years old. As you can see here, it's already it's showing me, you know, ex get an expansion pass now, 20 more hours. You can play as different characters. It's really a game that they are getting a lot of longevity out of, and I, and I appreciate that when producers do that. I appreciate it when they give you more and more... Uh, content. So if you've picked up the game before, or if you've played it before, or if you just didn't want to play it because you were like, oh, it's it's kind of um, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings and I'm not into Lord of the Rings, I would say give it a try. They have a good uh, nemesis system in it. They have good options for how you play your character. And it's, it's a fun jump into Middle Earth. If you've not been a, if you've never read the books or if you haven't watched the movies, it might get you interested in the genre. Uh, Tolkien did affect uh, a lot of fantasy out there. Without Tolkien, you wouldn't have had Game of Thrones. You wouldn't have had Dungeons and Dragons. You probably wouldn't even have Warhammer 40K. So just wanted to drop this quick video for you guys. I'm also checking out a uh, Elgato HD60 that I recently purchased to see how... Uh, my PlayStation 4 Pro recordings are going. And I want to just throw this out here, give it like kind of a benchmade test, see if it's a little bit better than my uh, uh, Xbox One uh, playthroughs. So, again, thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. This is VGO40 signing out. Have a good night.